Oh, we just had a short trade. I'm going to actually place this trade right here so we could see it live as it's happening. That's how it actually looks good. One second here. Let me just find the dome. Order filled. All right. So 33.72.50. Uh, I got two ticks away, which really one tick should be a good uh amount of slippage but I got two ticks here on the trade Target I just saw filled. and I'm out of the trade here so this actually happened uh, very fast uh, this short trade it's not always this fast I just happened to see it took it uh, for a point and you're done I'm out so that's that's a good um, situation to be in as a trader where you see a trade and you jump in and we have a lot of trades on the scalpers, but really I want to pick and choose the ones uh, that are best. Remember, don't trade during news events. Don't trade right as the market closes. The best trades are the ones earlier in the day, probably within the first two to three hours where the activity is higher, it's stronger. All right, everybody, there's a short at 33.68.75. I showed you this short here. I'm going to actually take the short as well 336875 okay let me just expand the chart here a Order little bit so you can see let me just turn on the fix the markers all right so 336875 i have my target one point i have the stop here's the previous trade as well that was taken and the goal is for scalping is to make the profit as fast as possible. Okay, so you want to take the trade and be done with it. It's not an hour or two hour trade. It's a, a very fast uh, trade. The previous trade happened in probably a minute. Uh, so I want to have the same situation. Really not holding on to a trade for more than uh, 15 minutes, especially scalping uh, or sooner, right? When you're looking at the uh, the Atlas line trades or the at the open trades, I typically tell everyone to use a time-based stop of 20 minutes because we're using a five-minute chart. But for scalping, I believe it should be a little bit faster unless there's you know some situation where the market's just in a tight range, it's stuck, it's not doing anything. Now, in addition, we do have a mentorship class beginning on February 18th at 12 o'clock Eastern. If you're able to make it, great. Come and join us. Spend eight weeks, all the software and courses are included with a lifetime license. If you need help getting set up, we also provide that at target no charge. Filled. All right, everybody. So the target was filled, and I used the market of touched order, so that's the reason why you see that one tick of slippage. It's normal. It's just part of trading if you're using a market of touched, which I recommend. I'm making sure that I get out of the trade once it touches my price. A limit order would have also worked in this case because it went through the uh, the price. It went through it. So I know that everyone got filled by using a limit order. If you have any questions, email me, support at daytrade21.com. I'll see if I can record a few more videos for today. And I'll see you at the next class. Bye-bye now.